It didn't matter what the age, both children and adults were thrilled at what they were seeing. This is amazing. What I'm seeing is the sun, the bottom part of the sun is uh, disappearing. About a third of it is gone. I see kind of like the uh, shadow going over the sun, and it kind of looks like the moon, like, like it looks at night. It's cool. I think it is. It's the first time I've seen it. Students from Eisenhower Middle School and other Bay Area schools viewed the eclipse while visiting the Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa. We've all heard about damage to the eyes from looking at the sun, and today we got an eye-opening demonstration from the director of flight and space at the museum. We're focusing all the energy of the sun that's coming in the main entrance of the telescope into a single point and actually causing a flame. Of course, the damage to your eye would occur a lot faster. The folks here at the Museum of Science and Industry tell me that a solar eclipse is visible from somewhere on Earth each year. So you might want to invest in a pair of these Mylar glasses so that if it's in your area, you can look up at the sun without doing any damage to your eyes. Uh, the eclipse in August next year is probably going to be the most viewed eclipse in history. The eclipse next year is going to go mostly over land. It's going to start in England and head and in, in almost get to India. While we viewed a partial eclipse, those living in parts of the Caribbean were viewing a total eclipse. But for Megan Malone and her classmates, the partial eclipse still made for a great day of learning. It looks just like the moon at night except a little bigger. Who knows, within this group, there could be a future astronomer. In Tampa, Stan Jason, Fox 13 News.